Welcome back to this series on how to quiet your inner critic and do the big things that are going to move you forward with your personal dreams and goals. Now that you have gotten through the first homework exercise, which was to carry around a notebook and mark down how many times your inner critic shows up in a week, you have a really good idea of the, the words that your inner critic uses, how many times they show up, and what their typical arguments are. This is going to help you with today's homework assignment. We're going to dig into step one, which is get to know your inner critic. I know this is probably the hardest step because we really don't want to come face to face with our inner critic. We tend to push him or her aside or listen to the messages and just move on and not give it a lot of thought. For step one, I want you to really dig deep this week and pay really close attention to when your inner critic shows up. It's typically going to be when you're doing something big and exciting or taking a small step that's really outside of your comfort zone. So get out your notebook, journaling really helps with this, and write down the, the occasions, the events where your inner critic tends to show up. Then write down what arguments does he or she use. I'll use she for this example because my inner critic is a woman. So when does she show up? What does she say? What arguments are most effective? And start to get a sense of how your inner critic shows up for you. Then I want you to list adjectives, five, six adjectives that describe your inner critic. Is she tricky? Is she sarcastic? Is she intelligent? What is it that defines the way your inner critic shows up? For the next step, and I do get a bit of pushback on this, but work with me, give it a try and see if this works for you. Create a character of your inner critic. So what does she look like? What is her family situation? What type of job does she have? Um, does she have brothers and sisters, children? Really create that vision of what your inner critic looks like because then you're going to give her a name and the name is important for steps two and three and we'll get into those a little bit later with the additional videos the understanding your inner critic really helps you identify when your inner critic shows up and will help you to quiet her as you go through the rest of the series and you incorporate the three-step process into your life. For this week, spend a lot of time getting to know your inner critic, uh, cataloging and journaling about her, and then we will get into steps two and three in the next video series to help you quiet your inner critic and go do great things.